Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to track text. So let's say you want to have like a moving shot and you still want to be the text like on the same spot like let's say you have like a building right here and it's sliding uh, across you know the screen but you still want the text to be on there and not like moving along i'm going to show you guys today how to do that in sony vegas right now and it's going to be really simple it's going to be a little bit of work but that's obvious of course so i would say let's get started so as you guys can see we are on sony vegas and i just dragged in a little rate clip and this is a really good example because we are going to place the text on the left when it zooms out we can make sure that the text text is on the exact same spot so that's really that's a really nice example so we're just gonna make the text on the left like on that little wall I'm gonna make it like the same size first you want to drag in the footage that you're going to use uh, I used this then you want to just right click on your timeline insert a new video track then you want to go over to media generators and you want to pick the text that is like default so you just want to place that on there and as you guys can see we have the text right there I'm gonna type in Sony Vegas and first of all, what we're going to do in order to make this like move is you want to go over to the left on that little white icon, which is track motion. You want to click on there. And right now you just want to make sure like with this square, you want to make sure that you placed Sony Vegas onto the wall right there. As you guys can see, also tilt it a little bit. So as you guys can see, that looks really good. But then the next thing you want to do, the first thing is you, do want, to, you want to change source alpha to 3D source alpha right there then as you guys can see this box pops up and right now it, it works like 3d if, if you mess around with this you can like change like the 3d and that's really handy so also you want to make sure that this one is checked at the bottom and those three unchecked so the next thing that we're going to do is it's all it's just all a matter of placing keyframes so as you guys can see it stands on uh, the place right there and what we're going to do is we're going to go up, like at the bottom i'm going to go a frame a few frames forward and as you guys can see this, like the text is slightly getting out of its place. So let's just like place it back. Also, let, let's tilt it a little bit. Keep it on the same place as always. Move some frames. That's basically the all the, like the work there is. And uh, you just want to make sure that you keep like the text in place as always right there. Then move a few frames as always. So you want to place it right there and that's how you do it. So what you want to do is you just want to uh, go to the beginning. Make sure that you always you know, like move some frames here and there throughout the video. So you just can, like as you guys can see, move some frames, move Sony Vegas, move the word, then other few frames. Just like move it also like it's that easy. It's that simple. You just want to place like keyframes. Just go over to the track motion icon and then 3D source alpha. And you can do a lot of stuff. As you guys can see, I can like turn it. As you can see, you can turn it like this way, that way. So this is how you do it, you guys. This is the end result. I know this is done really sloppy, but this is just how to do it because I'm not going to bore you guys with like a 15 minute video showing you how to do it. So this is what we made so far. But of course, you can use like less keyframes within the key, like with like less frames within the keyframes. So it's like more precise. But this is basically the basics how you do it. As you guys can see, it's the Sony Vegas and it's standing there. Of course, the text is a little bit moving, but that's just basically a frame per frame. Then it's going to be just one steady uh, video. So that's it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's how you track motion, uh, text or images, whatever you can do this on anything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just Alex Halford. <laughs>